Okay, so we're talking about different types of snowflake. You know the snowflake emoji? Aren't they all different? They're, well, they're, yes, there's like hundred and some different types. Okay. But it really, there are four main categories of snowflake. When we think snowflake, you think the emoji that yes. looks like yes. the kind of typical paper cutout like star. Like, Almost like a star, yeah. Like frozen. Like frozen. Mm -hmm. But I got this tweet yesterday that I thought, oh, we gotta dive into this. I got this from Ottawa. Oh. Dave sending in That's this. Like, he said, can you explain what these are? Like cat hair. I yeah. know. It looks <laughs> terrible. Let's kind of zoom into the picture. We've got it full frame if we can go there. Uh, they're like little hairs, right? Wow. So they look different. So Let's talk about those four main types. We've got plates, we have columns, we have needles, and we have dendrites. We're gonna plates, break them down. Plates, columns, one by one. needles, and dendrites, okay. Yeah, four main categories. So we'll go into plates first. These are what plates yeah. look like. So just cool. flat, like this. This would happen in two sets of conditions. You would want either uh, very, very cold temperatures or just below freezing. Um, they're light and flat, they've got six sides, and they're the most common type of snowflake. Let's move over to columns. These almost look like white hairs when they fall on your sleeve, but close up there's a little more detail. Uh, these Ooh, tend to form. That's incredible. Is that really, really what it cool. looks like when it's yes. zoomed in with, that, with the, uh, the ends? Yes, with the wow. microscope. Um, they tend to form at very, very cold temperatures. Okay. They're likely to stick together. You would see this kind of like um, the snow would look almost like sand. Yeah, so this is not what was in Ottawa. No. Oh, okay. no, no, no. So that's that, not a snowflake, it's more of a snowfleck. Kind of. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, we're going to move on to dendrites. Dendrites, this kind of looks like what we expect to see, yes. right? Pretty. You need a lot of humidity. You need a lot of moisture in the air. Uh, the water vapor condenses pretty quickly. The ice crystals branch a little bit more, and there's a lot of offshoots. And then what we saw in Ottawa are the needles. Let's go to those, and they look exactly like you think they're going to look. Wow. Um, these form a kind of mid-range humidity. They almost grow like fish bones, long and thin. They pack together very tightly, and this type of snow, you guys, forms at around minus five, which is exactly what it was yesterday in Ottawa. Uh, it's great for, like, downhill skiing. Cool. There, there is no, at no point in my life did I ever think there was anything but one type of snowflake. Me too. No, there's like over a hundred, but there's four main categories. So, so there's really people cool. who do brain surgery, there's That's people right. who know this stuff, and then there's <laughs> guys like me who are just happy that I put on the right color. Oh, I didn't. <laughs> did oh, you they, put on the right oh, color? Oh, yeah, I did. Okay. Yeah, blue. Good. Hey, look, I win too. <laughs> okay. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.